All right. Good morning. So I'm getting everything set up this morning. Again, I'm going to do the QB, right? As the first exercise, right? So this time I'm going to do 110 reps and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> so that's 110 reps, right? So now this I can get do a little bit more, but I still do the same with the actual gym chair exercises. <sighs> Now you might ask, well, what good does that do? Well, the thing is, you got to at least keep yourself the same once you start getting bigger. Right? And exercise still helps with your breath control. Mm -hmm. Now, the more you do something, I know, the slower you change, even if you do the same things, right? Say so I eat the same foods, right? Now, some change, right? <laughs> if you have the money for a diet plan, <laughs> and some people don't, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're, you're trying to take care of other matters first. The house payment's around 900, the car payment's around 700, the insurance around 250, right? Well, that's already <laughs> two thousand dollars off of a four thousand dollar check, right? <laughs> then you got credit card bills. You got right. Mm hmm. Catalog bills, which is why I got a lot of catalogs, by the way. <laughs> to buy things for the house, <laughs> you know. I still got my radio there. I got fans. I got right. And it's not all for me, but it's in case I meet someone too, right? <laughs> right? Then one more. Mm -hmm. Look, that was not normal, but okay. Mm -hmm. So then you do it differently, right? Right, 
right? So that way I'm not just working my chest muscles, right? I'm working my arm muscles, my back muscles, right? And different positions work different muscle groups, right? Like doing it this way you can focus more on my biceps. <laughs> doing it this way you can focus on both. <laughs> doing it this way you can focus on my triceps, right? <laughs> of the arm, but it also works the back, <laughs> also works the chest, <laughs> and of course, the trunk, right, <laughs> which is the top part, right, that's why I got the little belly, right, but it's not like the booty's belly, because my chest, right, <laughs> is equal with my stomach, right, <laughs> that's a little different, right, <laughs> Now, some people, their belly <laughs> extends beyond their chest. And they're like, and I have to do it differently for myself or for my chest for being bigger. I have to stick up my butt a little bit. <laughs> That's because their belly is bigger than their chest. <laughs> but my chest, right, if I sit up straight, mm -hmm, is more equal with the belly, right? I got what's called a barrel chest, right? <laughs> in belly, in belly. Okay. So now I can do the QB again. Right. Now I'll start from a place, right, where I am the same. And see what that does, right? Mm -hmm. Is it helps me again with the belly a little bit. <laughs> now, it's not going to do nothing immediately, not now. <sighs> I'm already 300 pounds, right? But if you get into a routine every day, right? Even if you hurt after, right? Like I do daily, right? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes. But I think maybe God can heal it. <laughs> See, healing something means once I lose weight, it might start hurting, I don't know. <laughs> so I did go on medications briefly, right? Or I went out and still on them, right? <laughs> the bigger I got, right? And, uh, now, what would be my goal? Well, my ideal weight for my body size is supposed to be 160, right? <laughs> According to medical science, right? Right now, I'm almost double that, almost, right? At 330, right? <laughs> now, I don't get the why if I'm bigger, right? My blood pressure would be a little higher. Mm -hmm. If it has more blood pumping through the body as well. Are you trying to kill fat people? Do you hate fat people because we're overweight? <laughs> or maybe that's how you make us feel. <laughs> Fear is the mind killer, according to the movie Dune. 
If you keep telling someone overweight, they're going to die, they're going to die, they're going to die, doctors. <laughs> that sends a bad message to overweight people, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, even thin people die. <laughs> but overweight people die sooner. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> what does this first do no harm mean? Right. If I have something pumping water through a cil cylinder object, say, right, does it take the same amount of force, right, through a larger mm -hmm, vessel or a smaller one, right? Or would it be the same, right? That's the question, ain't it, right? <laughs> See, in the scientific theory, or even in the medical world, you gotta use the scientific theory, right? First, you gotta ask a question, right? Why do overweight people have high blood pressure versus skinnier people? <laughs> Is there a reason? <laughs> That's the question, right? You gotta ponder, right? To determine if high blood pressure is bad for someone or not, right? Does it take the same amount of pumping of the heart, right? To pump more blood to more bigger people or less, right? Or the same, right? <laughs> and then, right, what do you gotta do, right? Is it healthier for the overweight person or bad for them, right? <laughs> That's still judging, right, either way, either way, the person's health based upon their what size, size. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if I have a pump, right, pumping water through a vessel, right, like we are, like we are, or clay, <laughs> something made from dirt that has bone in it, calcium, <laughs> Not not stone, not stone. <laughs> not a lump of clay itself, but something formed, right? Has parts in it like a watch, right? You know, it's not a cup <laughs> like this, right? No. <laughs> it's not a um <laughs> We're not a um thing. We're we're not inanimate, we can move around <laughs> We we been called a tree though by the prophets of Israel <laughs> as early as judges. Hmm, why are we trees? <laughs> are we walking and talking and breathing trees? Well they can't walk. <laughs> they do bring forth fruit. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we do too. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Right. Be fruitful and multiply, saith the Lord. But don't eat of the tree of the fruit of the tree of the dog to good needle, huh? Right. <laughs> Don't eat of its fruit. Right? It didn't take it that shit. Like Adam said to Eve, for it. Just don't eat of it. <laughs> How do we eat of each other's fruit? Sex. <laughs> for human beings and animals. <laughs> Unless you're an asexual organism or a hermaphrodite. And even then they have sex <laughs> with itself or another hermaphrodite. <laughs> and then it gets a little earthwormy where the head of the Earthworm, one of them is at the feet, <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> I've even seen human hermaphrodites do that one. <laughs> They're like a worm that way. <laughs> they, they would say, I'm a worm in a man. Right. He has the penis, right? <laughs> Isn't that like a serpent if he was to innocently see it in the tree? <laughs> uh huh. Does she have mistaken Satan's penis for an anaconda? <laughs> Maybe, maybe the metaphor ain't there. Uh uh, not at all. <laughs> you, you can't see that. You won't do that. Or you won't do that, right? It could be anything else but that, too. That means you're lying about it, aren't you? You're a false witness to God, aren't you? Right? You're very witness to the enemy <laughs> and lying with him about it, right? <laughs> Go ahead, you can. He taught you, too. <laughs> He's called the tree that brought about the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> the man, the man, the human, right? He's spoken of as both, angel and human, right? Hmm. Even Isaiah says, is this the man, right? Is this the one, right? Who caused nations to tremble, right? 
you one day see him as he is, just like you and me. Right. Who's dumb enough to teach us good and evil and not think there's a punishment for it. <laughs> Especially if he punished himself to punish us. Right. If you knew there was no punishment for it, <laughs> and what he would have to punish himself for it, that's narcissistic and what was the word? <laughs> Self destructive, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And then you want to destroy others, right? Now there I did a straight 30 reps, right? That's because it felt more comfortable and I was more relaxed, by the way. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to do some sit-ups, right? Chair sit-ups. <clears throat> well, I chair sit-ups. Well, my back hurts. <laughs> so I can't even really lay on the floor well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I might can do what's called crunches. <clears throat> and I thought. Mm-hmm. 